Hello and welcome back to SixSigmaTV.net. In this module, we'll talk about the roles and responsibilities of all employees and leaders within an organization that's deploying Lean Six Sigma. This first chart shows you a visual of, of kind of how all the different people that are involved in this within an organization. So we have in the center, all employees. They need to understand the vision. What is it that we're trying to accomplish here? And they need to be able to apply the concepts to their job and their work area. That's the purpose of this white belt or awareness training. So you understand as employees, how does this impact me and how can I impact the success of this, this process and methodology as well within the overall and how it impacts the overall strategy of the organization. So at the top of this chart, we have executives and business leadership, organizational leadership. We have deployment champions, project champions. Each of these roles I'll discuss in more detail on the next slide in terms of what their responsibilities are and how they impact it. We have process owners. We also have black belts, green belts, master black belts, yellow belts, and also we have project team members. So we're going to talk about that on the next slide. But it's critical to understand that involving the entire organization enables Six Sigma breakthroughs and huge improvements in achieving the strategic objectives of the organization and the deployment of the Six Sigma. So here's some more detail on the, the Lean Six Sigma roles and responsibilities. First, we have our deployment champion. Those are the ones that are responsible for setting the faction of Six Sigma and leading the, initi the initialization and deployment efforts. How's the, how's the program going to work? We're going to select the people. We're going to select the vendors to train the people. And we're going to understand how we're going to coach these folks to success and by helping them understand and select the right projects and then apply the methodology to make these projects a success throughout the organization. Then we have the project champions. They're responsible for ensuring the success of the black belt projects through day-to-day -day coaching, mentoring, resource provisions, and barrier removal. They also might coach green or might help um, green belts as well, depending on how mature the organization is. But basically, they're the ones that remove the barriers and clear the obstacles out of the way, or basically come in when we need help. Then we have our master black belts. They're responsible for designing black belt and green belt training, yellow belt training as well, mentoring black belts and green belts and yellow belts through project completion and actually driving cultural change throughout the organization. They're the ones that go out in the organization and train these project leaders to properly execute these projects and work with the people within the organization to have the most positive impact. Black belts are responsible for facilitating the, the breakthrough strategy, improvements in key processes and strategic initiatives. They're the ones that are basically our green berets out in the field that go out and launch these initiatives and, and help achieve this success or this vision that we're trying to accomplish. Process owners, those are the business managers who work with the project champions, black belts, and green belts to scope and execute projects. So essentially, once we have a process owner and a process defined, the, the champions, black belts, and green belts will go through and fix that process and then turn it back over to the process owner so that they'll be the ones who are responsible for that end-to-end -end process ownership. Then we have green belts. They're responsible for completing a tactical Six Sigma project under the guidance of the process owner project champion, master black belt, possibly a black belt, depending on how the organization, how mature it is and how it's structured. Also, we have yellow belts that will work with the green belts as well, or team members, also known as white or yellow belts, which serve as subject matter experts, but process or service and play a unique role in contributing to the success of any project. Can't do it without representation from each of the team. One thing that's not listed here also are, we have our team members or our car, core team. A lot of organizations will have extended teams, so we'll have representation from the core team, but then we'll have these extended teams out in the organization where the core team will go back and, and meet with them, show them what they learn, and get inputs from these folks so they can channel those up into the organization, into the back into the project team without having too many people within a project team to cause chaos and confusion. So that's a brief introduction into what the roles and responsibilities are throughout the organization deploying Lean Six Sigma. Next, we're going to introduce you to what is DMAIC and kick off with the defined phase. And then following DMAIC, we're going to go into a, a purely lean concept called 5S and how we can apply that to our organization to make quick, quick changes and, and make huge impacts on the organization. Thank you.